the day before we go to war, so what better way to start than a whole day of eating with the Stoltman Brothers strongman competition style. I've got omelettes, I've got potatoes, get pancakes in a wee while, yogurts, fruit, everything. An extravaganza of American delights. So this is meal one. But right now we're gonna get stuck in, eat, get big, get strong, and peace. Do what they do in America. Mirror. Y'all. <laughs> hey, hey y'all. Would you like some of my eggs, y'all? Hi, I'm Nathan Payton, nutritionist to Tom and Luke Stoltman. I've helped them win Europe's Strongest Man, World's Strongest Man, and future titles that are still yet to come. The difference in the brothers as far as what I have to feed them, they are actually relatively similar to the extent of their core diets are basically scaled down. So I have found that when it comes to clean foods, they both can tolerate up to a certain amount and that basically holds them over and enables them to train. However, when it comes to the cheat foods and the different specific things I do to target their training, which is kind of where the performance enhancement through nutrition comes from, they're night and day. They couldn't be more different. Um, Tom basically, I mean, he's, he has an appetite of like a T-Rex. It's, it's never ending. So when I decide that there's a particular event or a particular lift that he's trying to target, the amount of food that I have to feed him might be four or five times that, that when I tell Luke, okay, you're working on this and so we're gonna target it in this manner. And so Luke, it might be to where I add a dessert to his clean meals. Whereas with Tom, I have to throw a clean meal completely out, go just complete either pizza or pasta, meals kind of like that with all the desserts and Tom is notorious for his sweets. He loves all the candy. So I have to go that route with Tom, but with Luke, it's far more controlled by comparison. Yet, like I said, they're clean diets. Tom's is a bit larger in portion sizes, but they're not that different. And to be honest with you, that's surprising because often I can have brothers and nothing could be ever lined up. Brothers seem to be completely fed differently with different appetites, different needs. Some guys burn through carbohydrates very quickly. Some guys don't need hardly any carbohydrates. But these two brothers are very similar when it comes to that. And even Harry, if you put Harry into the mix, he's also in that similar type of vein. So perhaps there's some genetic wonder gift that takes place in the Stoltman family tree that enables three men of that size, nobody's small, and yet they have similar needs and they have similar um, attributes except for when it comes to enhancing their performance. And that's when it goes off into different spectrums, like I mentioned. We're back, guys. So meal number two is the usual five guys. Tom ordered it, so I don't know what I've got. Cheeseburger, standard. Bacon cheeseburger, nice and easy. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> Obviously fries and, and a cheeky milkshake. So basically today, Nathan has said just to eat when we're hungry. So we're not forcing anything down. We're not, we're not overstressing our bodies with copious amounts of food. And it's just nice and easy food. So we can eat five guys. Very simple, very basic for us. And uh, yeah, nice and tasty. Guys, it's time for a quick break. This episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers high quality, pre-prepped meals straight to your doorstep. Using only the freshest ingredients with 0% waste. It's the perfect solution for busy households just like ours. All right, look, what are we making today? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Today we are making harissa beef and bean tacos with bell pepper and Greek style cheese. Mmm, sounds amazing. Right, shall we get started? Yes. Okay. Using our exclusive code SB2024, you can get 60% off your first box, plus 25% off the next two months, plus some free gifts. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to learn more. Don't forget, this offer is exclusive and available for a limited time only. It's open to both new and existing customers who cancelled their subscription 12 months ago or more. Hey, big boy. Cheers. Cheers. Down the hatch. Oh wow, they're lovely. Are they? Oh yeah. Mmm. They're lovely. HelloFresh gets our thumbs up. 
the supplements that are required to be the world's strongest man and to be an athlete of that level kind of goes back down to, again, the amount of food volume that is required in order to sustain the training and then to recover from everything. At the end of the day, is whole food best? Absolutely. You know, that's how we were engineered, basically. However, is it practical? Not at all. Not when you're talking about the amount of food that guys of this size require. So in that, something like the shakes that my protein makes, I always program into the guys' diets because it enables their digestive system to have a one or two breaks within the day. So rather than continuing to process whole food, they've got the shake which will clear out at a much quicker pace. And that way their digestive system doesn't have to work as much. There's not so much blood flow being diverted to their intestines. It's more freed up and liberated to go to the working muscles during their workouts and to speed the recovery after from that lingering circulation that goes after that training session. So that's probably the biggest key is being able to plug in something like that to work with the athletes so that their nutrition needs aren't so overwhelming to them and also so that I can use it to basically manipulate the other nutrients within the diet to be more efficient. Fact is, if you're digesting more efficiently from one meal to the next and you're not still full from that prior meal because I was able to program a shake meal in, you're gonna receive the nutrients more efficiently from that next whole food meal. So it's a total win-win. When it comes to the other supplements that are useful with the guys, when you're training this hard, that's taxing on the body. When the body is taxed that hard, there's going to be an inflammatory response. And anytime you have that, by default, you're going to have a, typically a negative impact on the immune system because the body's already dealing with inflammatory response as a result of training. So with that, I'm pretty big on some of the supplements that you can get from my protein, such as the vitamin D3, the multivitamins, vitamin C, all those things to kind of enhance the immune system. Fish oil, you know, fish oil is kind of the unsung uh, hero, if you will, in, in the supplement or vitamin world because it's so understated, but the benefits are so, you know, so overwhelmingly positive. It can help the guy's digestive systems digest a little bit more efficiently. It supports the immune system, supports cardiovascular health. And the other thing that it really does that's so important for large athletes is it's a natural blood thinner. When you're a huge natural athlete and you're lifting natural implements and the tendency is to bruise or to smash the body in various ways, keeping the blood nice and thinned out helps to facilitate that healing and also prevent some sort of clotting type of things that can occur so you get those bruising and that natural hematoma trauma to the muscle to heal quicker. number three so I've just had five guys about an hour and a half ago and I messaged uh, Nathan because my appetite is back he calls it the T-Rex appetite so I just when I eat and when I get hungry I can eat so I wanted these because I had these last night and they were unbelievable so the boss said I could have them so here we are gonna have this and then maybe some pasta later on man I love this country oh, wait. I said, I just bought us a house in Ohio. Oh, sure, right. <laughs> yeah. So when it comes to competition day, things that are a, a trick of mine, if you will, is I rely on starchy-based carbohydrates because starch-based carbohydrates tend to be dry and they tend to be dense. Because of that, it tends to sustain longer in the system so that it's got longer staying power, if you will, as a fuel for the guys to do the events. It also begins the digestive process immediately in the mouth because they tend to be drier. So more saliva is produced in the mouth, absorption is enhanced in the mouth, and that speeds the body's delivery of the carbohydrates typically in that fashion. What I don't like is I'm not a fan of things like just Gatorade as far as a carbohydrate source or things that are like that. Because anybody, it doesn't matter if you're even just a house mom, if you drink Gatorade for 45 minutes after you walk around you feel like you've got a fish bowl in your stomach with a couple goldfish sloshing around in there. If you can feel that, you didn't absorb that. It's still in your intestines, not in the working muscles. So when it comes to competition day, it's, it's kind of an epic fail, in my opinion, compared to far more efficient ways of doing things, which is relying on starch-based carbohydrates in combination with fats, so that again, you get that longer staying power of that glucose in the system. Okay guys, so we are now on the last meal of the day. 
This weighs about four kilos. It is absolutely massive portions. So we've just spoke to Nathan. He's told us what to eat. So we've got uh, spaghetti with uh, meat sauce, some meatballs, some garlic bread, and some other bits and pieces. So we're going to get tuck, tuck into this. Last meal of the day. Ah, oh, spaghetti, metti, mamma mia, I cannot wait. 